While performing a failure investigation in a stress analysis software, Mike realized that stresses arrived by the software were far too high than actuals. Actually, in displacement load case, expansion stresses, stresses were far more than ultimate strength of the pipe. Surprisingly, pipe has not in fact physically fractured, at sight but only it was just all bent up. What leads to this misleading stress values? Are you thinking what effect does this valve has? Come let's turn the pages to answer the same. Well assume this is the piping system for which the failure investigation was being done. Pipe stress programs, like Caesar 2 assumes that the pipe is linearly elastic, which means that will not calculate an accurate measure of the real stress state in a case where gross plasticity exists. Stress strain curve shows straight elastic portion, then plasticity, with continuously changing stiffness, and failure. In software's methodology, actually the linear portion gets extrapolated indefinitely, no matter whether the material is actually yielding or not. Therefore, software's linear approximation of stress can be much higher than the true stress state. Further, in addition to just stated inapplicability of the software programs, when there is gross distortion of the cross-section, flexibility within the piping itself gets changed, which will typically add up and hence overestimate of the actual stress level present. Further, let's have a case study. Rich Hot a piping stress engineer was analyzing several connected piping systems of a project comprising many lines. Well in order to know more about this case study, kindly click on the link below or continue watching this channel. Channel which tries to explain some of the basics of oil and gas piping and moreover of the piping stress analysis. Please do subscribe in order to get more facts, cases, and quizzes.